Pierce and Brooks on our panel. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get us start with some FAU football. Okay, we got to win this weekend. Um, so what do you guys think this means for our game against Marshall and the rest of the season? Well, I, <laughs> hey, I'll go ahead and start. You know I'm right here to your right, Taylor. I got to say, I think it's a big deal. I mean, here we were on the show last week talking about everything that can come from this win if we get it against UAB, mm -hmm. which we do, and by two touchdowns. I mean, mm -hmm. when was the last time we beat a team comfortably? Our offense scored 37 points. And that was with three blocked kicks. Amen to that. All right, special teams getting the job done. And speaking of getting the job done, Jack Hoyce Johnson started the whole game. Fellini's pretty much made it clear that he is the starting quarterback. I feel pretty comfortable about this, guys. What do you guys make of this game? Uh, I think it was a very, a very important game. He scored 20 points in the second quarter. Uh, also, Jack Hoyce had his best game as a collegiate quarterback, uh, over 400 yards. Also, was the second leading rusher, uh, over 100 yards. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think being Conference that, USA Player of the Week, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, also being that double threat, I think it's going to be, you know, very important that he can run and pass. It, it opens up the offense. Um, also, I mean, uh, we only put up, uh, I want to say we put up nine points in the second half, but that if we can keep that momentum rolling from the, the second quarter and just kind of put up those yards that we had, I, I think we can, we can make it a very competitive game against Marshall. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Johnson has solidified himself as a starter. Almost 300 yards passing and two touchdowns, along with uh, over 110 yards rushing and a touchdown. Man, that guy reminds me a lot of Cam Newton right now. He's a, he's a freight train. He I can't, mean, can't and stop you know, him. I think we're all in agreement as well with probably the rest of the FAU fans that Quez should be our quarterback. I mean, I think he has more than mm -hmm. proved himself. I mean, I think the win against USF pretty much put him at that spot, and I think this just s sealed the deal. Definitely. Absolutely. I mean, we, we talked about this all last week on the show. Most certainly, Jack Quiz is officially the starter mm -hmm. here at Florida Atlantic, and he's doing a great job. And I got to say, I'm feeling really confident. We're coming home against Marshall. Mm -hmm. You know, we get this win at home, then we travel to Auburn. Okay. Now, let's just say we shake up the world and beat Auburn. What exactly is going to happen? Because now we would be on a three game winning streak. Okay. And then we have nothing but conference games left. I'm feeling pretty confident, guys. What about you? Mm -hmm. Feeling great. Um, this is a big game against Marshall. I think this is going to set the tone for the rest of the year. Um, also, I feel that if you have one quarterback and you kind of stick with him, the team's mm -hmm. going to rally around him. Exactly. So, um, I think this is nothing, uh, nothing but an upside for us and our team. I, I think, I think great things can, can, uh, can come out of this. Yeah, I agree. Uh, just having one quarterback really helps this team like get its identity. And you know what they say: having two quarterbacks means you have no quarterbacks. Uh, it's just good to uh, uh, sell this now, going forward, so so they can just rally the offense around Johnson and just get this win this weekend, and then hopefully have have two weeks prepare for Auburn and hopefully get the win. But I'm a little skeptical of that. Yeah, and not only that, what about Jonathan Walsh's performance mm -hmm. at the running back? He had yes. a on the ground. Yeah. yeah, he. I mean, I we have been waiting for something to click on offense, and I think that this game it was it. I mean, besides the kicker who had mishaps that's a whole nother issue dealing with yeah. uh, Mitch Anderson yeah. who his kicks were blocked but kickers get in slumps sometimes you just kind of I think um, coach Planey said that he was going to work with the baseball coach trying to get into his mental game and help with that but despite the special teams issues I mean I don't think it could have gone better and especially Johnson didn't even play against Rice so I think for him to come off an injury apparently his shoulder is still bruised but he's not really feeling any pain so I'm expecting to have another great game just like he did um, this last week. Now for more FAU sports, let's talk about basketball because it is almost that time of year. Of course, we lost one of our best players, Greg Gant, last year, FAU's all-time leading scorer. But he, we have some replacements coming in, some transfers. What are you guys thinking for the season? Is it a loss? Do you think it's a building year? Or are you expecting us to make some waves in Conference USA? I feel this year is a responsive year. Last year, we all know, was a disappointment mm -hmm. throughout you know, the entire team. Even the players, really. Um, Dragon was kind of a disappointment. Moody was a player that showed potential, but he's ineligible, is he not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's at a junior college now. Yeah, so you know that's that. And I really feel that this year's basketball season, we got to have a lot of wins mm -hmm. and you know, have a strong season, or Jarvis may be going. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I've kind of looked at the schedule. We uh, play some ACC teams. We yeah. play Maryland. We play Duke on the road. Mm. 
some really tough BC. games. All in BC, but um, also being in the Conference USA, which is a respectable basketball conference, uh, it's going to be tough. But I, I do like our length. You know, we, we got a seven footer. We got a you know and six eleven. I mean, so I think we can make some presence. We just have to play with some mental toughness and mm -hmm. you know be physical and act, you know act like we own being the paint. So I'm, I'm hoping for good things this year. Yeah, I agree. Size is not the issue. As Brooks yeah. said, we have a seven footer guy, six eleven. But Dragon needs to get his stuff together and actually play like he's a seven footer and not guys who are like a half foot shorter than him push him around. And, and that's funny you mentioned that because he was actually named one of Conference USA's thirteen players to look out for, which is kind of weird for us it's who are ironic. here for FAU yeah, because for sure. he has kind of we thought he had so much potential and just like you mentioned, it he kind of lets himself get pushed around. So do you guys think he's gonna have a breakout year or do you think it's just a bunch of hype because of the hype? I, you know, I, I hope the best for him. I hope he has a breakout year. You know, I hope he does great and leads us to some victories. And I just hope he responds off of last year and comes back and thinks, okay, this is what I did wrong last year. I can't, you know, be mentally weak anymore. You know, just, just step up, you know, be a leader on that court because you're the man in the middle, you're the center. So I feel like he can have a really good year, but it's at the end of the day, guys, it's all up to him. It's all up to him. Yeah. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. 